Now in the chapter of number patterns, let's take a look at checkpoint 7.3a. Okay, now the first question asks you to draw the fifth figure. So let's identify how this figure actually looks like. You see, you have you have one straight horizontal line and one vertical line, right? So therefore, you have this is the same one. And what are you adding on? You are just adding on the sides, which is one straight and one dot, correct? Okay, same thing. One straight and one dot. One straight and one dot. So therefore, when you draw your lines, it will look one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is five rows, right? And then I have one, two, three, four. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, so what can you see? Or rather, what pattern are you looking at here? You have one horizontal, okay. One, you have one more, one more, and one more. Can you see? Okay, then let's write down the table, complete the table here. So for fifth one, you can see that this is just taking the fifth number. So you see this is identical to this, right? Okay, so you plus one equals to 26. Then n, five plus n plus one equals to five n plus one. Okay, so when n equals to 56, that, that's what they're trying to say here. Find the number of buttons in a 56 figure. When n equals to 56, it means that your answer would be 281. Okay, then this question they're asking you, is it possible for a figure in the sequence to be made out of 583 buttons? So how would you do it? 5n plus 1, you equate this to 583 first. So then you have 5n equals to 582, n would be equals to 116.4 so can n be a decimal no right so is it possible for a figure to have 583 no as well so the answer is no okay because n is not a whole number okay when when tn equals to 583 okay right 